Hey guys, what's going on? We're leaving Salisbury this morning and we're going to head out to the Caledonia Highlands and we're going to go up there and we're going to see some sites. Uh, a couple of covered bridges is on my list. Uh, number one goal on my list is to see the Crooked Creek covered bridge. I'm doing a whole series of covered bridges and I looked at that one and it's probably the most difficult one there is for me to find. So I've got some help this morning to show me the way. Uh, Scott, he's a, uh, a local fella from uh, Riverglade. So he knows the trails up here pretty good. So he's gonna, uh, he's gonna escort me and, and show me how to get to where I wanna go. Uh, we should have a lot of fun. Uh, I hear there's a lot of water up there and a lot of good scenery. So I hope to see both of each. So let's get on our way and, uh, and go have some fun. Most of our shots will be through the windshield today. We won't have time to do any stop and go action because we just don't have enough time. It looks like a bit of a left hand turn here. No, nope. well, the sign says left, we're going right. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's one of the covered bridges. Cool. another little hole. No big deal at all. This is the old trestle, a railroad trestle. It's pretty cool. It's Turtle Creek trestle. The city of Moncton's reservoir. Yeah. I guess this hole here is pretty deep, so we're just going to go around it here. Neither one of us are really fans of getting stuck. <laughs> I'm not sure what this road is, but there's the uh, Albert County Trailblazers. So this is the Albert County Trailblazers grooming shed. And we're going to go down to this trail right down here and continue on our way. We're looking for another covered bridge. And this trail we're going down is 3201. And we're on uh, the Salem Road, Route 910, and this is the, uh, one of the covered bridges, the Hartley Steves Bridge. And we're back on 3201. Uh, the next stop we have, I think we're going to stop for lunch soon. And then we're going to head off to the Crooked Creek Covered Bridge. That's the goal for the day. And we're going down a bit of a hill here. Not too bad. I do have to say that these Albert County trails are pretty darn nice. A good variety of open areas, uh, some, some water holes and the, a little bit of mud 
take your time. There's quite a crew up here today. It's the locals call it a Hillsboro drop-off or Ricky's or Ronnie's look-off. We're gonna try and get the drone up here and have a quick peek. I don't know if you'll be able to see on this film how steep this embankment is, but there is a road way down there. We just came in on it this way. What a view. Way off the distance that way, there's a building with a red roof. This trail we're on now is uh, Pex Creek. I've been told it's very pretty in through here. I don't know how well you can see the terrain, but it's it's raised straight up on this side. And over here, on the right, it's straight straight down. Beautiful. This is a beautiful beautiful part of the trail. You can see here as Scott goes by how steep the cliff is on the left hand side. Just the drop off on the right. Must have been quite a job cutting the trail through this bank. One of my favorite spots. This is Peck's Creek here. Yeah. So here we are down at Peck's Creek. There's a little bridge over there. Looks like a pretty popular camping spot too. A couple of fire spots there. Right up through there, now you can see a little bit of a trail, looks like in between the two, uh, the two banks, bit of a gorge. This is a bit of a gorge, I'm not sure what it's called, but uh, we're just up from Pex Creek a bit. It's straight, straight down. We're up in the Caledonia Highlands and uh, this is what we're gonna see. Sheer beauty. Looks like a warming shelter back here in the woods. Just says, guys, uh, no dumping, look before you shoot. Go see what it says on the other side over here. Hotel whiskey on the door. <laughs> oh, there's a big set of moose antlers there. Bed and breakfast, vacancy. <laughs> I think I'll pass. <laughs> I'll stay behind you a bit, get the best of it. We're coming into a bit of a wet spot here. Just going to stay back a bit. Whatever pushing the water up ahead there. Wow. <laughs> that was deep. <laughs> I've, I've never been in water that deep before. I was, was going to stop, but then you can't. You can't, no. No. <laughs> we were to see how they make it. I doubt they know it's here. Yeah. I had no idea that was here. Well, like you say, there's a bunch of them. They'll be all right. I don't know how deep that was. <laughs> oh, it was, it was up to here, halfway up the door. <laughs> that was a deep hole. Let's carry on. Have some fun. We'll go on just as if nothing happened. 
Well, that was pretty good timing. Just before that water puddle, we had to stop. I had to change the battery on my GoPro. Uh, so I'm glad I had a fresh battery going into it. Otherwise, gee, I would have missed it. And here we are. We're, uh, we just stopped here and had a little break at the uh, southeastern New Brunswick snow snow movie. Try saying that three times fast. <laughs> the Southeastern New Brunswick Snowmobilers Association. The trail we're going to go on just up here a bit and we're going to head down towards Crooked Creek. Then we're going to turn left here. We're heading down towards the Broadleaf Ranch. This is Snowmobile Trail 34. We'll just hang on here for a minute. Oh, it's not that bad. Try to put my face down near the water. Then I get thinking, all it's going to do is get splashed with muddy water all over the camera. This is quite a steep hill, a bit rocky and rough. We're in a second gear, just idle down here. We'll keep move around these rocks a wee bit, we'll be okay. Wish she's right straight up on one side, right straight down on the other again. driving on the Crooked Creek Road now just down to the right down over the bank and the gorge that's the Crooked Creek we should be coming upon the Crooked Creek covered bridge very shortly oh we get a bit of a tree in the way here we just sneak under that somehow oh and look at that there's the bridge hiding okay this is the Crooked Creek Covered bridge. Cool. We're just going to sneak down here and park somewhere handy. A few other fellows here today. That's the same crew we've seen up at the uh, at the lookoff. Here you are, we're down a little beach type of area down by on Crooked Creek. We'll just pan around here. There's the Crooked Creek rolling in the background. Somebody put a flagpole up here. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And come around here again. I'm just gonna go up in the air a wee bit and just show you how high the mountains are. This is the Caledonia Highlands. I believe it's called.
this is the Caledonia Lookoff. We'll get closer here in a couple of minutes. Caledonia Gorge. I think I can get the drone up here today. Looks like it's pretty decent. Here's a spot here we stopped at just to have a look around. We're just above Riverside Albert, up over the hill from Riverside Albert, and that's the marsh area. Cape and Rage is way off that direction. Beautiful scenery coming through here. There's quite a bridge here. Oh, and a bump going into it. Oh, there's somebody down there hiking, like a lady and her dog. Looks like a little bridge coming up here. Yeah, a little bridge and a little water puddle. Yeah. There's some blueberry fields. No, there's nothing there at all. Looks like another water hole. around it this way I guess oh there we go we're crossing the Petticodiac River again and we're heading back to the truck here we're coming up to the last bit of the trail right now we're we're back into Salisbury. There's the trail head gate. There's our vehicles. That is some serious mud. <laughs> oh, boy. oh, it was fun. Woo. 
That was an awesome run, 144 kilometers. That's roughly uh, probably around close to 80 miles. Uh, we left here 8.30 this morning and right now it's 7.30 in the evening. That's 11 hours straight running. We barely stop just to have lunch and take a few shots. But uh, the trails were awesome. We got some awesome uh, scenery up there and some really good shots, uh, good videos and some good drone shots. So thank you very much to Albert County Trailblazers for the great trails we've got out there and uh, Scott, who was my guide for the day. So anyway, I'm glad you, uh, glad you came along. Uh, please subscribe if you like this video. Uh, don't forget to share. My subscriber list is really growing, by the way. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Take care.